Ultimate Beneficial Owners The Regulation of the Procedures of the Real Beneficiary Cabinet Resolution No. 58 of 2020 Scope of Application The provisions of this resolution shall apply to the registrar and legal persons such as Individual, Company and Entity Who are licensed or registered in the state, including the commercial free zones this resolution excludes companies that are wholly owned by the federal or local government or any other companies wholly owned by such companies. And the financial free zones such as ADGM and DIFC. Why it is implemented? To regulate minimum obligation of corporate entities in the mainland and non-financial free zones. By requiring. 1. Disclosure at incorporation or at registration. And 2. Maintenance thereafter of register of real beneficiary and register of partner or shareholder. Who are real beneficiaries? For the purposes of the application of this resolution provisions, the legal person's real beneficiary shall be. 1. Whoever owns or finally controls the legal person, through direct or indirect shares or equity of the legal person's capital at 25% or more or has the right to vote therein at 25% or more, including retaining that ownership through a chain of ownership or control, or through control through any other means, such as the right to appoint or dismiss the majority of its directors. 2. If no real beneficiary fits the criteria above, or there is any doubt over who has final controlling ownership, then the physical person who exercises control over the entity through other means shall be the real beneficiary. 3. If no physical person is determined, the real beneficiary shall be the physical person who holds the position of the person in charge of senior management. 4. If more than one person participates in owning or controlling a share of the legal person's capital, all of them shall be treated as owners and controllers of such share. Real Beneficiary Register or Partners or Shareholders Register The legal person or board nominal member shall Maintain the details of real beneficiary, partners, and shareholders in the real beneficiary register or partners or shareholders register he creates And shall also update this register and include any change occurring thereto within 15 days from the date of set change being aware thereof Maintenance of Partners or Shareholders Register the details to be maintained in this register are 1. Number and class of shares held by each partner or shareholder. 2. Date on which shareholder's capacity was acquired. 3. ID, passport, nationality, address, place of birth, etc. 4. Information on board of nominee members who act on nominees on behalf of shareholders and partners. Information Availability to the Registrar The legal person or board nominal member shall provide the information of the real beneficiary register or the partners or shareholders register within 60 days from the date of the publication of this resolution is published, which is October 27, 2020, or at the time of incorporation or registration of a new entity. General Points 1. Company has to designate a point of contact whom the registrar may contact in relation to any disclosure. 2. Every entity must take reasonable measures to preserve its records from damage, loss, or destruction. 3. In any case of a violation to the provisions of this decision it can result in the Minister of Finance or Head of Authorized Licensing Authority imposing one or more sanctions. Information to be filed in application form. Before October 27, 2020 the companies would need to file with their respective regulators information regarding the beneficiary owners and beneficiary interest in that company. The authorized signatory is required to declare the details to be filled of ultimate beneficial owner or owners such as Beneficiary details such as first name, middle name, and last name. Company name which is the name of the company. Nationality which is the nationality of beneficiary owner. Passport number which is the passport number of beneficiary owners. Detailed residential address which is the address of beneficiary owners.
percentage shares in company which will be percentage of holding by beneficiary owner in respective company. Required supporting documents, for offshore jurisdictions. Along with the above, supporting documents are also to be attached such as share certificate, or registry extract, or memorandum and article of association, or confirmation from an auditor, lawyer, or government authority. Need assistance or advice? Please contact RBS at 050-175-5867 or 054-569-2022 or 056-500-2963. Mail us at rbs at rbsaccounting.com or contact at rbsaccounting.com. Visit us at www.rbsaccounting.com. Thank you for watching.